Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate this bike rider in front view in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson and this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Ok, now let's jump on to After Effects and start with the rigging process. So now, we are going to start with the arm rigging. So turn on Dwig, click on Rigging, click on Create Structures and click on Arm Structure. Select the Arm Structure layers and pull it and put it above the one of the arms. And I'm selecting the right arm for now. Let's reposition the structure layers. Now, parent arm with the arm structure layer, forearm with the forearm structure layer, and the hand layer with this hand structure layer. Select these structure layers and go to links and constraints. Click on auto rig to rig this arm. Okay. Now, select this arm layer and parent it with this lower body, which is this body of the character. Or rather, I would like to parent it with the chest layer, this particular layer. Okay. Now, we are going to repeat the process for arm 2. So the structure layers are repositioned and now parent the layers. Select the structure layers and go to links and constraints, click on auto rig to rig this arm. And after that, select the arm to structure layer and parent it with chest again. Okay? Select these two structure layers and turn off the visibility shite out. So right now all the both the arms are rigged. Now we are going to rig the legs as well. So this time to rig the legs, we are going to select the leg structures. Select all the leg structures and put it above the leg illustration layers. Now I'm going to solo the layer. Let's reposition the structure layers with thigh above thigh one, this one above here, and this one at this particular junction. Okay, now parent thigh with thigh structure layer, this one with this structure layer, and okay, this one is. We need to rename this one to foot. So we are going to parent this with foot structure layer. Now select all the structure layers, go to links and constraints, click on auto rig. And the leg is also rigged. Alright, so now select the thigh structure layer, parent it with this lower body. So lower body is basically this particular lower portion of the body. Alright, so we are going to do the same for the other side of the leg as well. Alright, as all the layers are repositioned, we are going to parent thigh with thigh structure this one with this structure and this one with this structure layer. Select all the structure layers again and go to links and constraints and auto rig it. And leg 2 is also rigged. Alright, so unsell all the layers. Select the structure layers. But before that, parent this thigh to structure layer with the lower body as well. Select all the structure layers. 
turn off the visibility and turn on shy all right so now both the arms and legs are rigged so now we are going to parrot the other layers that will be moving together while in animation so first we are going to start with the character select the head solo it out move the anchor point at this particular point and we are going to parent head with neck also we are going to move the anchor point of neck to somewhere around here parent neck with chest chest with the lower body let's solo the lower body and move the anchor point at this particular position after that this tail muscle this particular one we are going to parent it with chest again so right now if we move the lower body everything is moving together except that t-shirt layer so we are going to parent this t-shirt layer with chest again let's check out now yeah so now it's time to parent the different parts of the body together as well okay so now select hand one and hand two controllers and parent it with this bike handle so if this moves this both the hand will move together after that select the handle support this particular layer and parent it with the bike body now select the leg support and parent it with this bike body again after that we are going to select this handle and parent it with this handle support and then select the headlight and parent it with this bike body so if we move it everything is moving together now after that we are going to select both the foot controllers and parent it with the leg support now if we move this this is also moving together now we are going to parent the lower body with the bike body as well so if we move the bike body everything is moving together now and if we just move the character's lower body only this part of the body is moving together with that structure layers that are parented together all right so right now we are all set for animation so here is a tire strip which we have added in illustrator this is nothing but few rounded rectangles duplicated multiple times so we are going to start with our tire animation now before jumping onto the animation process let's shy out all the unnecessary layers that are not required during the animation All right, so now we are all set for animation. So now we are going to animate this tire strip. Select both these layers and solo it for once. Select the strip, open the position, put a keyframe. Then jump on to next six frames. And let's move it downwards. Let's move at this initial point and let's put a ruler at this point to match the position so at this point we are going to match the position with this rounded rectangle well not this one after this one okay now we are going to put the loop expression so let's check our animation 
But before that, copy this tire once again and use this as an alpha track mat. So let's check out our animation. Let's slow it down a bit. Okay, so reverse the keyframe order and also turn on the motion blur. All right, so right now it's looking pretty nice. We are going to go with this one. Let's speed it up a little more. Okay, now we are going to select the bike body. Let's move the anchor point of this bike body at this point. Now open the position, put a keyframe, open the rotation, put a keyframe. After that, let's jump on to next four frames. Let's bring this down a bit and give a slight rotation in this side. So let's give it 0.4 and at this point, at the initial point, let's give it minus 0.2. Okay, after that, let's jump on to next four frames again and copy these initial keyframes and easy is it. Copy the loop expression and paste it over here and over here as well. So let's check out the animation. We can slightly offset the rotation. All right, so I think we can speed up the animation a bit. Let's jump on to next three frames and move this over here. Next three frames, move it over here. Let's check out now. Yeah, this one is looking better. Now we are going to add some motion to this handle. So open the position, put a keyframe, jump on to this point we are going to pull this down a bit and at this point we are going to copy this initial keyframe and easy is it let's copy this loop expression and paste it over here after that let's just offset it a bit yeah so now we are going to animate this bo the body of this character as well. So open the position, put a keyframe, open the rotation, put a keyframe and then jump on to next four frames again. Press U to open the properties with keyframes and drag this body down a bit. Even give some slight rotation. And at this point, we are also going to give some slight rotation. After that, at this point, we are going to copy the initial keyframe and easy is the keyframes. And just offset rotation from the position keyframe and whole thing would be offsetted a bit. Let's check out our animation. Okay, we need to put the loop expression. Now check it. All right, I think we can give some less motion in the X axis, so slightly pull it up a bit. Now check it. Yeah, this one is looking better. After that, we can even add some rotation on the neck and the head as well. So copy these keyframes and select our neck layer. Move the playhead at this point and control V to paste the keyframes. But we are going to tweak the values a bit. Select the initial and the last keyframe. 
give it a rotation of around 2 and at this point give it a rotation of minus 1 after that copy this keyframe paste it on the head layer as well now we are going to offset this neck and head as well let's check the animation now yeah this one is looking better now we can even add some slight extra motion on the chest layer as well so open the position property of chest layer and just move the playhead over here and put a keyframe on position after that jump on to next four frames and slightly bring it down a bit after that copy this initial keyframe after four frames and this is the keyframe and copy the loop expression and paste it over here let's offset it a bit let's check out now so i think we can just make the chest motion like more subtle let's check it now yeah this one is looking better so the bike animation is ready now we can even add slight squash and stretch as well okay to apply squash and stretch select all the layers and pre-comp it together all the layers that you have shied out as well but right now it's already inside this comp so we are going to change the background color to white now after that i would like to just move this shadow layer and paste it over here outside the composition now move the anchor point of this composition and paste it over here all right so now select the body this bike body layer and just put a keyframe of the scale at this point and we are going to match the timing of this squash and stretch with the body of this bike and slightly offset the squash and stretch with respect to this layer so at this point this bike will be going to squash a bit so just cut the link of this x and y axis and give it some squash so i'm going to give it 99 and this one 101 and at this point we are going to reverse it after that again jump on to next four frames and it copy the initial keyframe and easy is it sorry not four frame it will be three frame because this one is the keyframes are in every three frames over here so copy the loop expression from here and paste it over here after that give slight offset let's check out the animation now well i think we can just move it one frame before and let's check it all right so like this you can animate a bike rider in front view in after effects so if you want to learn how to animate this background as well so to check out this lesson i have shown you guys in this particular lesson how to animate this tree animation like this so go check it out and that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye